now finally we are going to see the last topic for the day that is nothing but sessions now here i'll be creating one file i'll just give my file name as 16 i'll just give here sessions.php now sessions are nothing but they are used to store the information suppose if you are logging in inside facebook and you after visiting facebook if you come outside and again if you go and visit facebook you don't have to log in again unless and until you log out from facebook so this is where sessions are useful okay when we are using some websites our system will be knowing what we are searching for but server will not have the data which user is using that particular website or anything so that problem is solved using sessions and sessions data will be stored inside server and from server we are going to access that one and that data will be stored inside servers if you are logging inside facebook and if you log out again when you go to facebook you have to log in again once you log in you can use facebook and your entire login details will be stored inside facebook okay again if you want to visit you don't have to log in again you can directly use facebook and you can start looking the post okay this is where sessions are useful and it is mainly used in registration system that is nothing but a login systems now here first i'll be writing this php syntax and here i'll be writing one comment i'll be writing here sessions it is a way of storing users information now to use session first we have to start session we are going to start session like this you have to write here session start once you start this one our sessions will be started and we are going to create session variables now session variables will be created like this you just have to write this dollar symbol and we will be writing this session and inside this we are going to create variables okay this is called as variable name in session i am just storing username username i'll just give here khanam and i want to store one more variable i'll just come down i'll just write here session and here i want to uh, store password now here password i'll just give here coding okay i have i have created two variables username and password and username i have stored as khanam and password i have stored as coding now below this i'll just create to i'll just write one echo and inside this i'll be writing here uh, session session data is saved i'll save this i'll save this i'll just copy this file path and here i'm going to paste that one I'll just remove this. I'll be writing here local host. Now you can see I'm having here session data is saved. Now this data is not saved inside our system. This data will be saved inside server. Now here I'll be creating one more file. I'll just give my file name as in uh, information information dot php. Now inside this file, I want to get whatever variables I have stored using sessions. I want to get that variables inside this file okay to use session variables here also first we have to start session we have to write this session start okay this session start is nothing but it is built in function in php and it is mainly used for login information let me just close all the files now inside this sessions.php i have two variables username and password now whatever value i am having here that i want to get inside this page inside this information.php now here i'll be writing echo first let me just write here welcome i'm just going to concatenate this one i'll be writing this session variable and my session variable is nothing but first i want to tell welcome username whatever user we are entering we are just welcoming that username and next i just want i don't want to display password but as of now for this example i am just going to uh, display the password and your password is and also let me add one break here I'll just write here password. I'll save this. I'll just copy the path. Now here I have already set that variables. Now I am just going to remove this. I'll enter. You can see welcome Khanam and your password is coding. Okay. Once we set the session variables, we can access that variables in any page. We can see I got the output here. Welcome Khanam and we your password is coding. Now we can store email as well. I'll just write here email. And here let me just write here coding at 
gmail dot com. This whatever we are creating that is called as session variables. Now inside this, I'm just going to write the same thing. I'll just copy this, and here I'll be pasting that one. And your email is here. I'll just write email. I'll save this. I'll first come here. First, I'll set that one. Now email will be saved. I'll refresh this one, and your email ID is okay. We will be getting this output. Okay, using sessions, we are getting the data directly from the server, and we can use this data throughout our website or throughout our app. Okay, this basically it is used in login system. So let us create our logout. I'll just create one a uh, logout dot php. Now inside this file, we are going to unset all the variables and we are going to destroy all the variables. Now here I'll be creating php. Once we click on logout, all the username and password we it will be removed and again we have to log in. So we are just going to do that one. So first we have to start the session here and to destroy that one first we have to unset. So here I'll be writing session. We have this session unset. Now this is going to unset all the values. Now finally we have to destroy that one. All the variables we have to destroy. We have another function session destroy. I'll save this. I'll just copy the path, and here I'm going to paste. I'll enter now all the variables. Okay, let me just write one echo. Variables destroyed. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see now variables are destroyed. Now, if I come here, information dot php. I'll enter. You can see I'll be getting this error. Okay, undefined index. Username is not set. Password is not set, and email is not set. Again, I'll come here. Again, once I click on this, now this session will be saved. Now, again, if I come, if I refresh this one, you can see again I'm getting this welcome column. Again, I'm logging in here. All the data will be stored. Again, once I refresh this one, I am log out. Now, if I just try to log in, you can see I'll be getting this error. Now again, I am logging in. Again, I'll log in. You can see I'm getting this output. Again, I'll log out. All the data will be erased from here. You can see this is how we are going to use. This is the simple login system. I have already created simple registration and login system. You can check for that. But this is how we are going to set the variables using sessions. Once we log in, okay, here I'm just logging in, and all the variables will be set. Now here all my information is stored. Okay, you can see Khanam password and email is been stored. Now this is my logout page. Once I log out of this, all the variables will be destroyed, and now I will not be having any access to that particular variables. Okay, I'll be getting this password is not there, index is not there, username is not there. Okay, this is how we are going to create. But this warning we don't want to show this to the user. Okay, we want some message to be shown. So for that, inside this information dot php, here I'll just check the condition if is set. I'm just telling that if my session variables are set, only then I'll just write this one session. If my session variable username, if my username is set, only then show this entire output. Else, I just want to echo. Please log in. Again to continue. I'll save this. First, I'll come to this sessions dot php. I'll enter. Now all the data will be stored. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having all the data, all the variables, khanam, password, and email. Again, I'll log out from here. Again, if I come here, I'll enter. You can see I'll be getting this. Please log in again to continue. I will not be having any error now, but I'll be getting this message. Please log in to continue. Again, I'll come here. I'll save all the variables. Now, if I enter, you can see all the variables will be stored. Now, again, if I log out, the variables will be destroyed, and here I'll be having this message. Please log in to continue. Okay, this is how session variables are very useful. It is used to store our information without logging in again and again. We can use our information by directly going inside our website. Once we log out, again we have to log in and we can start using the website. Cookies data will be stored inside the system, but sessions data will be stored inside server. Using sessions will be more secure than cookies.